All right. Yeah, o- right. Oklahoma and Nebraska. And we didn't expect this to be a ball game. And yet, here we are discussing it because I think I think I was way, way wrong. And I owe everybody a public apology because Oklahoma is straight garbage. This is ridiculous. I don't think this the national been- championship game. They're not gonna they're not gonna make it to the Big 12 title game. Uh, who in the Big 12 is gonna beat them? I think TCU will beat them. I think Oklahoma will beat them. Hell, I think Texas might beat them. I think Iowa State might beat them. This yeah. team is not good at football. No, hang on. That's not true. They are good at football. That's a that's a gross exaggeration. <laughs> they are not close to what everyone made them out to be. You're not this Nebraska's defense is about as average as, as you can be. They're not bad. They're not great. And the fact that they shut this offense down for a large point of this game is insane this defense absolutely is not good i think everybody is going to score on them I, I i don't think you're wrong i don't think that spencer rattler is the best quarterback on this team now i joked about this in the offseason multiple times but i think caleb williams is the better quarterback now he he has not gotten the opportunity yet no. but i don't think it's far from happening now spencer did not turn the ball over nothing crazy but he was 24 out of 34 214 yards at one touchdown it was serviceable they had 194 yards rushing. Like Lincoln finally figured out, oh, wait, we're not as efficient when we pass the ball. Maybe we need to run with some of these backs that we got stockpiled here. I, yeah. That's the Imagine smart way. that. Imagine that. Illinois, not a good football team, ran the ball down this Nebraska's throat like it wasn't nothing. Why the hell isn't everybody else doing that? Why aren't you Oklahoma? Why do you throw the ball at all? Just run the ball the entire game and you score 40. Hey, here's here's what we'd had. Uh, Eric Gray, 15 carries for 84 yards, average 5.6. Pretty Kennedy good. Brooks, 14 carries, 75 yards, 5.4 yards per carry, and a touchdown. Spencer Rattler, 6 carries for 35 yards, 5.8, for an average of 5.5 per carry on 35 carries. They had almost 200 yards rushing. Everybody and, can run the ball on this defense. Yes. Why, this why, was, why was this game close? Because uh, of coaching. Yes. I I think there is something going on in Oklahoma Big time. They they missed uh, a field goal. Now both teams missed a field goal. Nebraska actually missed. Oh, Nebraska's two of them. kicking game is terrible. If if their kicking game had been on point, they win this ball game, right? Well, they, not yeah, not well, to just I, do I the math. Win the like, ball game, but it 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 looks it looks substantially different. At, at some point in time, it was seven to three, and it would have been they 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 had eight points missed on 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 kicking. Okay. Yeah. But, so well, yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a big difference in the first half. Yeah, yeah. I I'm, it, I I don't understand how how it got to this point. Like I I don't <laughs> because Nebraska's not good. They're just not. Do they make do so we many think mistakes? Any, do we think there's any world? Do we think there's any world where the game is catching up to Lincoln? And Lincoln first got on scene, and he was this dynamo of an offensive play caller and a head coach and he brought excitement and he brought freshness and now he's been coaching for four years and everybody kind of knows what he does and nobody's afraid of him Lincoln when when he was really coming on the scene when he was making the playoff when he was doing all that he was taking in quarterbacks that were transferring in and so he didn't have to fully develop them right they already well, had their fundamentals develop down. anybody he's never developed anyone he just well, took somebody he he helped out uh, Jalen Hurts quite a bit, and he I think he I think he helped out yeah, Kyler that's Murray. Right. That's because, right. You know, Kyler Murray wasn't great when he was at Texas A and M, but then he comes in and they and he he fits the offense to what the quarterback is best at, right? So I, I'm going to give him props on that. But what I'm curious about is, can you take a a stud recruit in and fully develop him up? And I, I don't know what Spencer Rattler is, because there are times where he looks fantastic, and I don't know that this is necessarily on Lincoln, but. I, there is a – you're not wrong. I think there's a possibility that people have caught on to what Lincoln Riley is doing and they have figured out tendencies in this offense that they can slow down. Like, there there are moments me, in every game let, where they get stopped and, and you just never used to see it, right? Let me tell you this. Against Iowa State and TCU, this offense will not run the ball the way they ran the ball against Nebraska at all. And both of those offenses, I think, are better than Nebraska's. They they better buckle the damn ten, chin strap, and they better come with a different game plan than they've come so far three games in. Yes, yes. Because at some point in time, there are there are two teams that I think are 
are better coached than they are and, and, and are just built to play different kinds of football. And if you can't play it, you're going to get, you're going to get run out of the gym. You're just going to get run off the field. Yes. It, it, successful plays. I mean, Oklahoma had 62% success rate in this game, which is fantastic. Like the numbers always somehow end up looking good somehow. And but think about this, Gary. This is a bad football team that they played. It should have been a better number than that. Yes. I mean, their offensive EPA in this game was 20.57. Nebraska's was 4.54, and yet it was a touchdown game. Like, yes. I, it, I, I just I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. Nebraska's um, offense was one man, Adrian Martinez. Yes. And, and, that's, and you I can't mean, shut down a one-dimensional football team? <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you do when you play these other teams that can score multiple different ways? Hey, you got me. You got just, me. Th- this is this is the enigma that I can't understand. You have better talent than all of these other teams, and it's not in the Big Twelve. It's not close. This is not Alabama, Florida. Okay, yeah. this is Oklahoma, and everybody else is on the damn floor compared to what you've got. Yes, I, I don't understand it. I never will. Nobody's I, got a top twenty five recruiting class outside of Texas. Nobody. It's, and you're a top five recruiting class. How how are we in the same game? I, I wish that I and These knew. teams want to come to the SEC. Them in Texas want to come to the SEC. You struggle to beat Nebraska? You'll get your ass knocked off when you get over here. Now, I, I will say this before we move on to the next topic. I, I do want to give Nebraska credit because as bad as they looked in week one, it, they still have mistakes. They still have this and that. Sure. But, but for three straight games now, they have looked like a competent football team. It, again, I do think this teams, is Nebraska like, Super Bowl. Oh yeah, I do yes, believe yes. that this was this was Scott. Fr- I think Scott Frost knew if I won this game, no matter what happens the rest of the year, I don't get fired. Yeah, yeah, you're you're not wrong. You are not wrong about that. So it's it, it was an interesting game. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.